What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here. In this video I'm gonna be talking care guides, this time on a fish, and it's gonna be on the Coral Beauty Angel fish. Now first of all guys, sorry about that terrible glare, and uh, water might be a little foggy because I just did a water change, but uh, this is usually when my Coral Beauty is most active, because he's uh, going around eating all the algae and stuff. Um, but yeah guys, when I talk about the Coral Beauty, literally one of my favorite fish in this tank mostly because of his corals and his personality um now as you all go, as you guys all know my coral beauty only has one eye uh because when i got him he got a disease he uh i think i'm pretty sure he hurt his eye uh during transportation uh i think he cut his eye and then an infection infection uh, developed his w eye turned white and then it like disintegrated I thought he was gonna die, but he didn't. Uh, so now he's got one eye, I call him Two-Face. Um, but he is thriving in this tank and uh, his colors are just awesome. Now, uh, most people will be um, drawn to this angelfish mostly because of his price and his completely awesome colors. And look at the colors, it's just crazy. I had to have a dwarf angel and uh, my favorite dwarf angel has to be the Coral Beauty mostly because of all the different colors on him. And he's got orange, a deep purple, and some bright highlighted, uh, bright blue highlighted fins. It's just awesome. Now these guys, uh, the size on these guys, they don't get very big. As you guys know, it's a dwarf angel fish, so he'll grow to be about four inches. Um, so not a very big fish, but definitely a very, very active fish. And, uh, just an awesome fish for any saltwater tank. Now it is a dwarf angel. You're of course always gonna have the risk that he could um, bite uh, corals and possibly eat corals and other cecil invertebrates. But I have not seen anything, any behavior like that out of mine. Uh, I know most people don't usually see him um, bite corals or eat corals or anything. Cause he's more interested in all the algae around the tank and the food that I feed every day. Now, uh, these guys are a super easy fish to care for. Uh, he eats all the food that my other fish eat, which uh, I feed my fish uh, many types of flakes, pellets, and uh, brine shrimp and krill every other day. So he eats all that, he gets a good diet. I'll put some uh, seaweed on a clip down here for him and the tang. They go crazy over it. Um, and yeah, that uh, really keeps his colors in uh, really good uh, shape. I mean, his colors are just awesome. Now, uh, minimum tank size for these guys, I personally would go with a 50 gallon or larger because they're so active and uh, require a bit more swimming space than the average uh, smaller fish. Um, but being so small, you could probably get away with like a 50 gallon. Uh, I enjoy this fish. He uh, is not an aggressive fish, um, if at all semi-aggressive. I've never seen him attack any fish or pick on anybody. He's very peaceful um, and just an awesome fish to have in a tank. Yeah, you could see him. Uh, algae uh, develops on a lot of my uh, filters and stuff. And he's always pecking at it and eat all of it. So he's a very beneficial fish for the reef. Uh, he'll pick at the rocks, eat the algae off of them, look around, eat different stuff in the rock work. And uh, yeah, I guess you could say these guys are very hardy too, considering mine survived the uh, loss of his eye. He's blind in one eye, but that does not seem to phase him whatsoever. Um, as I said, uh, he gets along with all these fish. Uh, I would say he's a pretty good beginner fish for a uh, saltwater hobbyist. Uh, they're not very expensive. They run about, uh, I think the cheapest I've seen was like $35. I got mine for $40. Uh, they run around $40 to $60 depending on where you buy it. Uh, they're very common to find at uh, pretty much any local fish store that sells um, like um, reef marine fish. Uh, and just a super cool fish to have. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, 
let you guys watch what he does. Ears. Yeah, just look at the colors on this guy. It's just crazy. Can't really find another saltwater fish for like 40 bucks that has the colors that this guy has. Just awesome. He's again super active. Always going around the rocks, eating anything he could find. And under uh, very good LED lights, his uh, fins just shimmer and it's really cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so that's been the care guide on the Coral Beauty Angelfish. Uh, if you guys got any questions about this guy or thinking about purchasing one, uh, ask me in the comments below. And if you got any questions about my freshwater, saltwater tanks, or any fish inside of them, ask me. I'll answer. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.